Good morning, and we are looking at plenty of sunshine temperatures. It's 4.30 in the morning. You're probably sleeping. By the looks of things, most of Seattle is probably sleeping. That's why Dong Ho Chang likes to start work early. He's a traffic engineer for the Seattle Department of Transportation. He's making traffic flow smoother and safer before there even is any traffic. And this is a great time because there's no cars, so it's a, it's a pretty quick check. Dong Ho stopped at this intersection in Magnolia because someone emailed him, worried about the crosswalk buttons. So we'll check this one here. Dong Ho is almost like your personal inspector. If you email or tweet him about a problem, he'll wake up early to figure out a fix. And that one works. And so we'll push this one. The buttons are good, but something else is bad. <laughs> That's when the phone comes out, and the first problem of the day gets a solution. Oh, I just took a photo of the graffiti up there. I'm going to try to have that graffiti removed. <laughs> From here, Dong Ho bikes another seven miles. Daylight makes its appearance over Seattle, and eventually, Dong Ho makes his appearance in Columbia City. It's now almost 6.30 in the morning. My job is to try to make our streets safe for everyone, uh, make sure that we can uh, continue to grow. That growth has been a challenge for the people who live and work near Rainier Avenue South. Make that a crisis. After a thousand car crashes in just a few years, Dong Ho and other SDOT engineers made safety changes on Monday. And then we changed the speed limit here from 30 to 25. There's a lot of uh, people, you know, in the businesses in, the, uh, in this area, so we want to make it really comfortable for people to cross the street. That's why Dong Ho is back this morning. He wants to check up on the project and tell you about it. Sure enough, out comes the cell phone. <laughs> here come the tweets. Shiny, safer crosswalks, brighter and brand new. A typical day for Dong Ho Chang. <laughs> yes, well, a typical day. Uh, there really isn't a typical day. Um, usually in the morning, I do exactly this. I uh, try to go out and look at locations where um, there's been uh, um, concerns from citizens. Nobody tracks how many concerns Dong Ho personally helps solve. But if you go by his tweets, Odds are you probably walk or ride or drive past or through or next to one of his solutions every day. Maybe you stopped at that new traffic light at 9th and Thomas, or drove over the fresh paint in Inner Bay, or admired the fresh flowers on 9th. There were the new solar powered lights on Broadway, new rubber speed humps on Alki, and that new lower speed limit sign on Rainier Avenue South. And all of these were just this week. It's, uh, it's an amazing place. Uh, to be working right now, uh, making sure that we can accommodate this growth without, you know, affecting the quality of life for people. Dong Ho was born in Korea. He wanted to be a computer programmer till he realized that meant he'd have to work at a computer. So this is the compromise, a full day's work before his workday officially begins. It's now 7.15. We're catching the light rail to the office. Is there ever a moment when you're not working? Um, usually when, when I'm when, uh, with my family, I try not to, but it's hard not, not to. <laughs> Living in the city, I really care about you know safety and you know how people uh, uh, tra uh, travel through our streets. Now entering Soto Station. Dong Ho cruises into work at 8, SDOT headquarters in the Columbia Tower. He's already worked five hours, but technically his real job hasn't even started. Hey, good morning. Good morning. What happened on MLK? Dong Ho Chang, the man yeah. who loves solving your traffic problems, so your roads will be ready just, uh... when you wake up. In Seattle, Dan Casuto, King 5 News.